Each year, the Toronto Zoo releases endangered Blandings turtles into the Rouge National Urban Park. These two-year-old turtles have been in our care since hatching as part of our Head Start program. The juveniles live in a special, controlled environment in the zoo's Wildlife Health Centre for the second year of life, as we prepare them for life in the wild. But what happens to get them ready for their big release? Well, in our care, each Blandings turtle is weighed and measured every month so that we can track their growth. And we'll continue to do this as we follow up with them after they're released into the wild. We first weigh them on the scale, and at this age they are approximately 175 grams. We then take shell measurements of both the width and the length of their carapace, or upper shell. We also measure the plastron, or the lower shell, and the height of the turtle's shell. All of this information gets recorded and inputted into a master database. Before they are released, each of the turtles will get a unique combination of notches put onto the outside of their shell. These are called the marginal scoots, and because they're part of the shell, the outer layer is made of keratin, which is the same protein that our hair and our fingernails are made of. So as we make these marks on their shell, it does not hurt the turtle, but it will stay with them as they grow and act as a sort of name that we can use to tell who is who after they're released. Each turtle has 12 marginal scoots on each side of their shell. And a really interesting fact is that some Indigenous people use the turtle shell as a calendar. Before release, a pit tag, about the size of a grain of rice, is carefully injected into the turtle's leg. The pit tag is very similar to a microchip that a dog or a cat would get. The skin of each turtle is disinfected before injection, and then the chip is quickly inserted into the turtle's back leg. The insertion site of each turtle is quickly sealed, and a final check is done using the pit tag reader to ensure that it is tracking as it should be. Once complete, the turtles are returned to their tank and ready to be released. 